Hey, boy, what's the matter? Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. That looks like it hurt. Poor guy. Pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> I am so sick of that smell. food here either. <sighs> well, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. Look, a can! Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad.
I guess you are pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat at all. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right?
I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. It was. I swear. Swearing doesn't make something so. No, 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 no. I'm telling you the truth. Please. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. What, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... Don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! By a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not I'm not working for anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. 
We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. I just want to fix my arm to stop the bleeding. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. We've got to be sure. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever's set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. We'll clean it, stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog, you'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Why are we doing this? It's so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this.
Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. It's getting worse. meeting in five minutes. That, that, it won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. He's got a book. He doesn't need to be a part of it. Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got
stuck. Huh, leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same, Nick. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, when firing your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put up a neon sign that says, Lurkers Welcome. <sighs> Where are you going, huh? I want to get my sweater. We'll be done in a minute. Alive. And you're telling us it was a dog? Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but look, for whatever reason, I think she's telling the truth. Look, there's no point in arguing about it now. She's in the shed, she's not gonna hurt anyone. We'll just see what's what in the morning. But Carlos said she could die if she doesn't get her arm treated. Assuming she doesn't turn. That true? The girl could really die. If the infection spreads, anything's possible. It could definitely get a whole lot worse for her. Don't we have penicillin? Or something that could, you know, stop the infection from spreading? We have some, but not enough to spare. We're not wasting anything on her. What if one of us needs it? Look, I'm just saying we can help her, that's all. We need to think of ourselves first. That's just the way it is. We can't just let her die. Not if there's something we can do about it. Clean. I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. 